All right, what's happening, everybody? It's your boy Zach Smilly back at you, and we're going to be talking about a little about the NFL, talking about the latest news that has gone down in the last, oh, I'd say about the last uh, 15 to 18 hours my time. Um, big signings, I'm going to be talking about some re-signings as well as some big names going to teams. Um, I think the biggest one that stood out was uh, obviously... You heard on Monday, Calvin John or not Calvin Johnson, I'll get to him in a moment, Peyton Manning retired from the NFL, as well as today, or I should say late Tuesday, going into Tuesday, Calvin Johnson had announced he is retired from the Detroit Lions, and I mean, from a, from a Cowboys standpoint, I have to give the man a, a round of applause, he, he you know... He had a hell of a career. He really did. He had a great career. I think he could have kept going had he not sustained injuries in the latter years of his career, such as from the 2013 season all the way up till this past season. Had he not got injured, I think he would have had maybe five more years in him. I think maybe. But there's only so much your body can take before you say it's time and Calvin Johnson finally just said you know that's it my body can't do it no more and I think what Calvin Johnson is doing stepping away from the Lions is kind of like what Kobe Bryant is doing for the Lakers is where Kobe's saying you know my body can't physically take this anymore and I have to step away from the game it's not that he's quitting on his team. It's just his body will not allow him to keep going. You know what I'm saying? But, um, again, tip of the cap to Calvin Johnson on a fabulous career. Um, definitely a Hall of Famer, for real. Um, I think we have a really good-looking draft class of 2021 when we're talking about um, Peyton Manning from the Broncos and the Colts. Charles Woodson from the Raiders Packers, um, Marshawn Lynch from the Bills Seahawks. I'm talking about the teams, you know, that they've played, you know, in the course of their career. Um, Calvin Johnson from the Detroit Lions, and then Jared Allen from uh, the Minnesota Vikings, the Chicago Bears, and the Carolina Panthers. Um, that's looking like a really good looking draft class. Um, I think those those five should be the ones that get in. Um, but without further ado, let's get into the signings. We have Bruce Irving, or I think it's Irvin, not Irving, like Michael Irvin. Bruce Irvin from the pass rusher from the Seattle Seahawks has agreed to a deal to sign with the Oakland Raiders. And if you don't remember his former and now teammate Malcolm Smith the Super Bowl's MVP from the 2014 Super Bowl when Seattle dismantled Denver 39-8 Malcolm Smith had that pick six that basically set the tone in the game and you add Bruce Irvin Mal Malcolm Smith and Khalil Mack in that front seven that's that's looking really good, and they're also looking to go after uh, that um ah uh, that um Eric Weddle from the uh, the Chargers, and I heard they signed as Smelly or uh, like he he has like a I I um a foreign name from he's from the uh, Baltimore Ravens. They signed an offensive lineman from the Ravens. Um, Raiders, I don't think the Raiders are done. I think they have a, they have a lot of cap space to spend. So they they can look like they're they're going to um they look like they're they're in the makings, you know, to sign more players. I think they should go after Eric Weddle considering Eric Weddle is a all-time Pro Bowl safety. I think he's one of the best safeties in the game. He's up there with um Seattle Seahawks do tandem duo in Cam Chancellor and Earl Thomas, and then Harrison Smith from the uh, Vikings. I think Eric Weddle's a top five in 
a safety in my opinion. Um, and then the Jag Jacksonville Jaguars made some moves on both offense and defense. On defense, they signed the Broncos defensive end Malik Jackson to, I think it was a six-year, $80, $90 million deal. I don't know. I'll have all the details in the description on all the trade baits. Um, and then they also went and got uh, Chris Ivory, the running back from the New York Jets. And you had an already great offense that they have built in a backfield that has TJ Yeldon, Blake Bortles, their wide receiver duo is set. Their wide receiver set is complete. They have Allen Robinson, Allen Hearns, and then the tight end Julius Thomas and Mercedes Lewis. I think they're I think they are set to go. I think Jacksonville just needs a corner. I think if they get that Hargreaves from I think I don't know if it's Florida State or if it's Florida. Um they, 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 there's no way that because of where, um, where Jacksonville is, I don't think they will get Jalen Smith. I think Jalen Smith will probably go to the Chargers, if not go to my Dallas Cowboys, because the way I look at it is Jalen Smith will either go to the Chargers or the Cowboys, kind of like how Joey Bosa will go to either one. Now, those are two different positions, but getting back to what Malik Jackson will bring. In a defensive line that I had, believe has Senderic Marks. Don't quote me on it if I got it wrong. Uh, I think he's a defensive tackle. They have, I mean, in a nutshell, they they have really really good players on the front seven. They just don't have any corners and they don't have any safeties outside of Devon House and Jonathan Cyprian. I think if they get a few more pieces on defense. I think they could be set. Now, what Chris Ivory can do, Chris Ivory had a great year last year. Rushed over 1,000 yards, had seven rushing touchdowns for the Jets last year. Um, I think in an offense that is as good as it is, I think it's a pass offense first behind Bortles because of Robinson and Hearns, the, the real great tandem duo. It's going to be eat hard for... Chris Ivory, but I think it could happen. Um, and in other news, Miami signed uh, what, what's his name? Uh, oh, Mario Williams. Miami signed Mario Williams, the former Houston Texan in the Buffalo Bill. Um, of course, Mario Williams was with the Bills last year, and now he's going to be joining South Beach with an already great defensive line under Indomitian Sue, Olivier Vernon, uh, Derek Shelby. I think they'll be set on defensive line. I think Miami, but Miami's real problem is, I think, Tannehill. I think Tannehill got paid way too much money for being the so-called franchise quarterback. But I still think it may be, I don't think it's a good signing for the Dolphins because the way I look at it is Mario Williams, I would assume, would get double coverage on every other down. But we shall see. Um, in other news, if I'm not mistaken, the Colts signed Adam Venateri. Resigned him, I should say. And speaking of the Bills, they re-signed, uh, I think it's Cordy or Cody Glenn. Uh, Cordy Glenn. Uh, I think he's a tackle. Um, I think they also... Uh... Oh, speaking of the Bills, the Eagles got a corner. They finally needed a corner after Nolan Carroll broke his leg. They shipped out Byron Maxwell. God knows what they're going to do with EJ Biggers. And they got Leotis McKelvin. I think Leotis McKelvin is a really good corner. He makes a really good punt returner. So we shall see with Leotis McKelvin. And I think there was one more. I think there was one more. No, I think that's actually it. But for the most part, some of the biggest surprises, Bruce Irving going to the Raiders, 
Malik Jackson going to Jacksonville. Um, Chris Ivory is going to Jacksonville. Uh, Calvin Johnson has went off in the sunset into retirement. Um, I mean, overall, though, it, it, it's looking like a really good free agency, but not for my Dallas Cowboys because right now they're not making any moves on any of the free agents. But, I mean, look at it this way. They, there's already been some of the biggest surprising moves. DeMarco Murray got traded to the Titans. Byron Maxwell, Kiko Alonso got traded to the Dolphins. Dolphins had signed Mario Williams. The Jaguars signed Chris Ivory and Malik Jackson. Bruce Irving got signed by the Raiders. And the Raiders, I think, are really trying to build on defense. And I still think they should go for Weddle. They should go for Eric Weddle. But that's just me because, of course, you know the story about Charles Woodson retiring. So, but that's the end of this 2016 NFL free agency vlog. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up. Always do that favor. And leave comments in the comment section on what you guys think about the, the signing so far. And what you think about each one of the trades as I would like to know and if you, especially you Cowboys fans out there tell me who you think we draft this year me personally we should not get a quarterback I think we should get a defensive player um me personally I would like to go for Joey Bosa because he fits our scheme but it's just a preference but let me know what you guys think down below Big Zach's out